You know, there's been many characters in baseball history, some talented, some not so talented, uh, some destined for greatness and some destined for the cutout bins of the, the junk wax era. But this guy, to me, had talent, and uh, but just a very, very strange dude. Uh, and I thought he didn't win enough in his career to make him kind of, a, uh, what do you call it, more memorable in the, in the eyes of non-Tiger fans. But for me, uh, he, was, he was tough as nails, very strong against AL East, very strong against key opponents. And uh, his opening salvos in Major League Baseball made him one of the top rookies of his era. Dave Rosema. Now, David Scott Rosema. <clears throat> born in Grand Rapids, Michigan, so he was a uh, Michigan native playing for the Tigers. Played 10 years in MLB for the Tigers and the Rangers. 6'4", 185, a bean pole. He batted and true right-handed. <clears throat> born in Grand Rapids in 56, he attended the great Grand Rapids Central High School in his junior and senior seasons. He was an all-city pitcher for the baseball team, compiling records of 11-3 and 11-5. and He was drafted by the Giants in the 22nd round of 74 June Amateur Draft but did not sign with the West Coast squad, instead enrolling at the great Grand Rapids Community College. Now, in January 75, he was drafted by the Detroit Tigers in the fourth round of the 75 Supplemental Draft. He signed with them on January 22, 75, and was assigned to the Class A Clinton uh, pilots managed by the great Jim Leland, and now a Hall of Famer. Roosevelt began the 75 season in the bullpen, but impressed uh, Leland and was promoted to the starting rotation. He relied principally on his fastball, but learned to throw a slider while with Clinton. He appeared in 27 games for the Pilots, with a 14-5 record and a 2.09 year earner and average. And in July 75, he was selected by the Detroit Free Press as the Tiger of the Future. Now in 76, Roosevelt was promoted to Tigers AA Montgomery Rebels. Despite missing two months with an elbow injury, he compiled a 12-4 record with a 1.57 ERA. Montgomery manager Les Moss said to Roosevelt, this kid has all the tools. If he keeps pitching like that, he won't be around here long. He's an outstanding prospect. Now, Rosema attended the 77 spring camp for the Tigers as a non-roster player, but impressed manager Ralph Hawk enough and made the Major League roster without ever having played a game at AAA. He made his Major League debut at age 20, and 10 days later threw a four-hit shutout game against the Red Sox. Despite missing the last three weeks of the season with a shoulder injury, he finished the rookie season with a 15-7 record and a 3.09 ERA and led the Tigers in wins, ERA, complete games with 16, and innings pitch with 218. He also ranked third in the league in winning percentage with 682, fifth in adjusted ERA, sixth in strikeout to walk ratio, and eighth in complete games. He won postseason honors at Yale Rookie Pitcher of the Year and the Tigers Rookie of the Year. He also finished fourth in a voting for Rookie of the Year and ninth for the American League Cy Young Award. Rosema formed part of a distinguished group of rookies with the 77 Tigers that included the great Jack Morris, Alan Trammell, Lou Whitaker, Lance Parrish, and Steve Kemp. Uh, and, of course, the, uh, the, the nucleus of this eventually won the World Series in 84. After a promising year, Rosema never won more than nine games in a season. In 78, he finished 9-12 with 11 complete games and an adjusted ERA of 124. In 79, he again had an above-average adjusted ERA of 124, but he started only 16 games and had a record of 4-4. Four and four. Afterwards, Roosevelt's ERA fell off to a rate only slightly better than the league average, as he won 6 games in 1980 and 5 in 81. Now, Roosevelt got off to a tremendous start in 82, compiling a 3-0 record in ERA of 163, uh, adjusted ERA, of course. And uh, the, uh, the, the situation, he was pitching well, but he wasn't getting the, the wins. Now, uh, the uh, uh, Roosevelt ERA uh, fell off to a rate only slightly better than the league average as he won six games in 1980 and five in 81. Now, here it gets we weird. Uh, quite the character. Rosema got off to a tremendous start in 82 with a Trino record in the ERA of 163, his first eight games. But in a televised game against the Twins on May 14th, a bench clearing brawl erupted after Twins pitcher hit both. Chet Lemon and Enos Cabell. Rosema ran from the dugout and attempted to deliver a flying karate kick to the Twins' John Castino, and as a lot of people know, Castino was fast. He missed Castino and tore eight ligaments in his knee. As a result, Rosema had been carried off the field on a stretcher. He required knee surgery the next day and was put on a disabled list for the rest of the 82 season. 
Now, this eventually uh, allowed the press to determine he was one of the characters of the squad. Now, in the October 2006 article, the selector Roseman is one of the 10 greatest characters in Tiger's history. The selection was based on the karate kick misfire, a subsequent injury the same year in which Roseman fell on the flask in his back pocket and he had 11 stitches in his hip, a very Canadian thing to do, even though he's not Canadian, and an incident in which he shoved the bar glass into the face of teammate Alan Travel, resulting in 47 stitches near Travel's eye, and missing a team bus when he overslept after judging a wet t-shirt contest, and five, using Brillo pads to wash his new car. Well, I, I once overslept while not covering or judging a wet t-shirt contest, but if that's the excuse you want to use, all the power to you. Now, July 9, 2008, the minor league team in Roosevelt's hometown, the West Michigan Whitecaps, gave away an unusual promotional item, Dave Rosema Karate Kick Bobblehead Figurines. Collector's items all. Rosema came back from injury day three with an A3 record and a 345 ERA and 105 innings pitch. In addition, he played on the 84 Tigers that won the World Series. During a regular campaign, he started 16 games, 7-6 with a 3-7-4 ERA, but did not appear in the postseason. Now, on December 27, 84, he signed as a free agent with the Rangers uh, for a contract for an estimated total of 500000 to 600000 He appeared in 34 games in the Rangers at 85, all but four in relief, and had a 4-19 ERA with 88 innings pitched. After compiling a 5-9-1 ERA at the start of the 86 season, Rosen was released by the Rangers during the midseason. He was then signed as a free agent by the White Sox, but did not play for them. In a 10-season career, he was 16-53 with a 3-4-7 ERA in 248 pitching appearances, 130 of them starts, striking out 448 batters while walking 258 in 1,106 innings of work. Now, in the early 90s, Rosema returned to pro ball by pitching for the St. Petersburg Pelicans of the Senior Professional Baseball Association and won the London Majors of the Intercounty Baseball League based in London, Ontario, Canada. Now, on December 22, 85, Rosema and his former teammate Kirk Gibson married sisters Joanne and Sandy Skakarski in a double ceremony at uh, Gross Point Memorial Church in Gross Point uh, Farms in Michigan. Now, in 2003, Crane's Detroit Business had noted that Rosema was working at the time as a salesman for the Disposal Management LLC of Blooming Hills, Michigan, selling the company services to waste generators in the De- Denver, uh, excuse me, Detroit area. Now, just just a little bit of background of the Intercounty uh, Baseball League. Uh, it includes teams of college players and former pros of North America and beyond, and the teams, again, are located in Southern Ontario. The league uh, was formed in 1919 and has enjoyed much success over its long history. Now, uh, teams in that association, and we just talked about this for a while, uh, the Barry Baycats, the Bradford Red Sox, Chatham Kent Barnstormers, the Guelph Royals, the Hamilton Cardinals, the Kitchener Panthers, the London Majors, of course, where Rosema played for, the Toronto Maple Leafs, I think fourth edition, and um, the, the Welland uh, Jackfish. And again, the uh, the Jackfish were number one this year. Past teams uh, in the league, including the Burlington Herd, Burlington Bandits, Burlington Twins, Gall Cambridge Terriers, Guelph Sea Joys, Hamilton Cardinals, Hamilton Thunderbirds, Kitchener Dutchmen, Kitchener Legionnaires, Craver and Nets, Listel Legionnaires, London Avcos, London Chester Peg Diamonds, London El Morocco Majors, London Pontiacs, Mississauga, Mississauga Twins, Niagara Falls and Mariners, Oakville Oaks, Oshawa Dodgers, Ottawa Fat Cats, Preston Riverside, St. Thomas Elgins, St. Thomas Storm, Stratford Hilliers, Stratford Nationals, Stratford Storm, Strathory Royals, Waterloo Tigers, and Windsor Chief. So uh, Dave Rosema have, uh, have met Will Travel. Really missed in, uh, in the American League East because players like him made the AL East what it was between 77 and uh, 1990. And like I said, a character for sure. And he was once, once interviewed by Fergie Oliver, on uh, Maple uh, Blue Jays baseball, and he said, uh, "Well, how do you think uh, the team is doing this year?" He said, "Ask me at the end of the season." I think that's a good answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you're doing here with our baseball podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share, and don't forget requests to the channel are always highly appreciated and always highly considered. Have a good one. Bye.